Hello, hello, welcome. I would like to do a reading on Allie McCabe. I saw a comment that, oh, a couple things. I had Brian Albert's birthday wrong. He was born in September, so he's actually a Virgo. He's the hermit, who's the, who's the smartest person in the room, doesn't matter what you're reading on. If you ever see the hermit, look at what he's shining his light on, that's what he's asking you to look at. But he's always the smartest person in the room, and so he's a hermit. Still an earth sign, though. He's out of the norm for us. Usually it's fire and air that make the headlines in these cases that we do. And then if anyone knows Auntie Bev, Allie McCabe, or Colin Albert's actual birthday, I found that he was born in March, so he's either a Pisces or an Aries. I put Aries down because he's a fire sign, I'm guessing. I'd, but if anyone actually has it, I would just like to look at Allie. Someone made a comment that Jackson asked her if she took Chloe. Oh, that was a sad reading. Uh, Chloe with her. And, or something. And I didn't double, like, I didn't go back to look at it to see what that was about. Well, we have a jumper already. So if we don't know, or if we don't have Allie's birthday, I'm guessing she's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I'm guessing that because her mom's fire, so she can blow her mom, like, all the fire around. If you think about it, a lot, like, in elementals. The fire needs air to blow it around. The fire sparks the forest fire, but the air blows it around. I bet she's an air. Hmm. But she could be anything. I have no idea. So, Hallie McCabe, what do we need to know about you, little lady? of swords card that uh, there's her mother ace of swords here's her mom oh here's Benifer. Benifer's here surprise oh you know who's else's birthdays people I need to put on this list is Matt McCabe his birthday if anyone has it and Julie Albert I wonder if Julie will be a weak link, who knows. Okay, Benefer's here. So we have the card that jumped was the king, or the card that jumped was the Ace of Swords. Aces are new beginnings, swords can be contract. Uh, king of Swords, it's Benefer. Here's the star, Benefer. Oh, and the Queen of Swords, Benefer is straight up here. Oh, and the King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Allie was in an impossible position. She was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Please don't tell me this is like, here's the knight. That's a, this would represent Colin to me. Oh, there's another knight. Oh, and here's the emperor. And I'm gonna put the emperor up here with Karen. Elf. Oh yeah, uh, Karen Reed is the cups. Three aces for Allie. No, wait, two aces, I apologize. This is the fire, spark, new beginnings, and the D. Well, strong start, Allie Bean. Oh man, she, she made some bad decisions and she learned. Oh, and she got paid a lot of money for it. Higgins just got all of these cards too. Her world as she knows it's ending. Well, oh my gosh. This right here is like generational trauma, drama. It's like, if you look at families, they've done studies on this, that if you grew up in a family of lawyers or doctors, you're gonna be a lawyer or a doctor. If you grew up in a family of criminals, you're gonna be a criminal. And right now, Allie is 
right in the middle of this. I'm not going to call it a conspiracy. She got paid big, big money for it. She's hanging with Daddy Ro uh, What did we call him? Daddy Warbucks. This is the King of Pentacles. He's the big mother. She's also hanging out. She's drinking the mm, Benefer Kool-Aid. Here's Benefer straight up. I wonder what the Emperor's sign is. If it's the same as Virgo. I don't know, but... I bet he is. Wait, do I have him written? Oh, I do. The Emperor. Oh, he's a fire sign. Here's air. She's, I don't I don't even know what to say. She made a decision with a couple of kids. I'm guessing Colin, obviously. Not obviously, but here's Colin literally right here. He's a fire sign. She's stuck between a rock and a hard place, and they were ready to go, ready to fight. She went all in. If she had any hesitation, they wiped it all out with money. Allie is in deep. This is all money, 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 money. And uh, uh, Karen Reed's right here, just watching over everything. This is, I think uh, Allie's in some, Allie's in trouble. I think I need to, well, we can ask. I don't, I mean, Allie, Allie got the same cards they all get. She's in trouble. What do we need to know? These are jumpers. I, you can't even like feel bad for her. She got, had free will and she made a decision between two horrible decisions. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, party. Party celebration, I'd say so. The two cards, these are Ashley at the Reckoning. If you don't follow her, please do, she's awesome. Organized crime, yep, here's our generational wealth card. What if her and Colin, yeah, I'd say organized crime straight up, generationally. She also has a chance to heal, to heal and recover and get out of it if she wanted in a marriage ceremony. You know what she should do, or maybe is thinking about? Marry Colin so they can't testify against each other. I don't know, I'm sure that the uh, Benefer situation has already thought of that, but I, I wonder. If anyone finds marriage certificate for those two, I won't be surprised at all. Then they can't testify against each other. <gasps> She's looking into trouble with the government and there's a paper trail. She turned back on God. Oh no, what if she went out into the woods to conceal the baby, or the Chloe? Oh, I just got good or pretty good, yeah. Oh, Allie was with her mother. Oh. For some reason that Chloe thing really upset me. I, was, I haven't read since I was, well, it, for this stuff. Yeah, so Chloe, she was with Chloe McCaves. Wow. And we got good, correct. I like that. Yikes. The thing is too, is this doesn't, this wasn't the first time that they've all done this kind of stuff. This was 
not the first rodeo. It was unavoidable. Today we're going down a wrong track. And they were self-sabotaging. I love Ashley's cards. She'll tell us the whole story. There, it was an accident, a car accident. Premeditated. Oh, who did we just get premeditated for? I think this we got for Higgins um, in part one. I just did part two. There's little, it was like fairy magic or baby witch magic that was around him. So I couldn't penetrate it and I got frustrated, but I, I worked on it and I could. Here's a riot. Yeah. With a lot of money. Okay. Riot, money. This is strategic. Whew. Allie's in trouble. I mean, we can, let's look at the Game of Thrones. I'm gonna clear the acting. She's dramatic, yeah, I'd say so. Crying about Turtle Boy. Oh, thank you guys for your help on, I did see Turtle Boy's mom literally just died. Like when I did that reading, I think she had just died like that day or the day before. Which makes sense why his um, heart was hurting. That makes a lot of sense. And that's really sad. And I'm sending love and light to him. I mean, we could... Is there anything else you guys want to know about Allie? We could look at this Game of Thrones. I'm going to clear the energy and light some siege. I mean, what is that saying? The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yes, definitely. I don't even know what to read on. I mean, we're just gonna see what the Game of Thrones cards say. I like this deck. I guess we can see. We'll just ask Allie to show. What do we need to know about Allie? Piece of coins, they paid her off. Six of pentacle, or six of, uh, this is wands. This is what Chloe got because she likes outside validation. King of swords, Benefer's here. Nine of swords has a wolf in a cage. Ace of Swords, there's your contract. She got two aces last round too. Three of Wands, he's thinking of leaving. Six of Coins, paid, paid her off. We know that. Here's the page, Wheel of Fortune. She spun the wheel and it didn't work out very well for her. The moon, ooh, the moon's secrets we're never gonna find out. The magician is smoke and mirrors. Temperance, there's John. I mean, I'm gonna use this. This is confirming that she was with her mother when Chloe was taken to a secluded wooded area with weapons, guns. Here's the enforcer. This is the male side of the Benefer situation. She's in so far deep, she's screwed. They're all, I heard that Brian Albert was under investigation by the feds. They're all under investigation. And I think they all have their own cases going. I don't think that, I guess for her, what I would advise is like, I'd work with the feds because even if you got a 20 year sentence or something, you can still get out and like live. Your parents, that's her, her decision is, does she want to sacrifice her life for her parents in the sense of, I mean, she's gonna get locked up and she can lessen her time by just coming clean the feds already have a paper trail, they know. I'd feel bad for her, but 
I don't feel that, I don't know how to feel about her. I don't really have an opinion on her. She's in trouble too. Is there anyone there that's like not in trouble? Oh, we could do Paul. Um, what's his name? O'Keefe. There's something weird about him too. Let's put him on our list. So in conclusion, Ally McCabe, she drank the Kool-Aid, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. The feds are on to her. She was with her mom when Chloe was eliminated in the woods. She perhaps might, if anyone can find or knows if she marries Colin Albert, I think that's their game plan to marry him so she doesn't have to testify against him. Then the next thing I would say is you have your own investigation. I mean, they have phone record. They have everything. They have everything that Proctor didn't get or do. There was something that Alan Jackson asked about the high school. There's a camera by a gas station. You can cut through their woods to go to the high school. That's how it was at my house too, growing up. You could cut through the woods and get to the high school. And there's something that Alan Jackson asked about that, but it, of course, Lally. Objection. And so I don't know what that's about, but I'm guessing the feds do, and I'm guessing Alan Jackson knows. There's probably, I mean, there's something there, and this Life 360 app. These are, I mean, conspiracy, tamp I don't know. But Ali McCabe has the same fate as the rest of them. If there's anything specific you guys are wondering, I guess the biggest thing is like, she, if she and Colin get married in the next couple of weeks, I won't be surprised. And if anyone can find her birthday, Matt McCabe's birthday, Julie Albert's birthday, uh, Auntie Bev's birthday, or Colin Albert's birthday, that'd be awesome. If not, it's no big deal. Well, we're gonna leave, I'll leave you with that. Ali is screwed. Ali's right here, right in the middle of the fight. And here's the queen of coins. I wasn't even like, just, oh. <laughs> she got paid a lot of money fight a battle that's not hers. I guess then too, I, the feds are probably figuring, okay, this was premeditated, we know that. There's a kid, uh, JFK, just for the kids. He's awesome and he's breaking down the Higgins thing straight up. And the last part I saw last night was, I mean, they know this is premeditated and it's like clear on the bar camera when you know what you're looking for. So that's like conspiracy. There's a lot of charges. She's in trouble. But she didn't have to make those decisions and she could have saved herself a million times, like getting on the stand and not lying and telling the truth. Yikes. Everyone's having a better day than Higgins, Proctor, Auntie Bev, and Allie. If they have their own investigation on Brian Albert, they definitely have one on Jen McCabe. Yikes. I bet we're, oh man. All right, so I will love you and leave you. That's it. I mean, Allie's, in, she drank the Kool-Aid and she's in trouble legally. She's not in the same kind of position that Higgins and Proctor are, where the end of the line, but she's in, she's looking at federal, federal charges. I'm guessing, I don't, I don't want to say, but she's looking at trouble with the feds. So on that note, I'll love you and leave you. Bye.